Guys, Kyrie091 hanging out with you. Boy, oh boy, are we going to have big fun today playing some more FTB. So, I'm actually in a 1.47 world playing the ultimate pack. The FTB ultimate. Look at this cool volcano from Project Red. It hasn't even done its thing yet. Um, I'm actually only here just screwing around because why the hell not. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to take a look at some of the cool stuff from this pack uh, real quick before we get back into our main series. First of all... This pack is before Nether Quartz, so the only kind of Quartz is Certus Quartz. Oh, what's this red stuff? Let's go down here. Whoa! Okay. Boy, howdy, it's dark. Let's get some uh, some form of light here. Let's use one of these. Ah, that's light. Anyways, take a look at some of the cool ores that were around back then. For example, this stuff, Zycoridite, Zycorium. When you mine it, uh, there's different colors. There's green, there's light, there's red, there's blue. There's even a dark one that's like a gray kind of. Um, and this stuff is cool. So let me show you. Let me place a crafting table and show you what can be done with this. Of course, you can turn it into blocks. If you put a whole bunch of it together in one thing, you'll get yourself a block. And the block will correspond to whatever color the crystals are and the cool thing about the blocks is that they don't give off light but you can still see them in the dark so even though they're not giving off light over here I think they just look super cool let me make the red one I want to make a red one real quick this this mod pack doesn't have the thing where you can um hold like drag right click to do crafting recipes do you see see what I mean how cool Zycorian looks and uh, there's all different kinds of Zycorium. Like you can make Zycorium bricks. Like that. See how cool those look when it's dark? And there's uh, Zycorium platforms, I guess. Let's look at these. Ooh. Oh, those look cool. I bet those would make neat flooring. Look at that. That's cool looking. And uh, then, of course, let's get some Zycorium shield. Zycoridite shield. The uh, this, this is dark Zycoridite, which is the darkest one. You can see it still kind of glows, but it's not nearly as visible as the other ones. Let's get green. Let's put some of this green Zycoridite shield. The shield is really strong. It's, it's like obsidian, basically. It takes a long time to break. And, of course, you can make lights out of this stuff. That's the other cool thing. The lights, the coolest thing about the lights is they respond to the strength of the redstone signal. Like, boom. You can see it's kind of like a dim light. It's not very bright. But then if I drop it right here, it's like super bright. So the light it gives off is dependent on how strong of a signal you give it. I think this was a pretty cool pack. Right now, I have a gravitation engine or a gravity chest plate on. So even if I take it out of creative mode and go back into survival mode. Oh, am I still in creative mode? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm in survival mode. Oh, I'm still in creative mode. Okay, now I'm in survival mode. And if you can, as you can see, I can swim in this lava without taking damage. Because I'm wearing my gravity chest plate and it makes you, like, invincible. Anyways, um, the reason I'm in this test world is not to show off the ultimate pack. I mean, it kind of is, but it's also because I wanted to, uh, tell you guys what happened with my single-player world that I've been playing. Um... Uh, I had a problem with it where it quit working and I, I was going to just scrap the series altogether and like stop playing FTB for a while, but I decided to keep trying and find a way to make it work. Oh, look, it has these cool looking quartz crystals too. Ow! I'm going to die. Oh no, I'm not. I'm invincible. I have a freaking grabby chest. Plate. These quartz crystals are neat. They glow. Uh, anyways, I decided to try to find a way to make my single-player series work, and the only thing I could come up with, unfortunately, it involved having to roll back to, uh, an earlier version of my world, which means that, like, a lot of the stuff I had done got undone, so I had to, like, spawn in some things to pick back up where I left off, so if you notice some things are gonna look a little bit different, it, that's why it's because I had to cheat stuff back in to try to get back to my leaving off point because I didn't honestly like if I was gonna have to redo everything I, I was just gonna stop playing 
Look at how cool marble looked back in these days. Look at this freaking marble. Look at these like marble caverns that I'm standing in. How cool looking was this stuff? And then of course these quartz crystals that give off light. Look at that, that's, that's cool too. Uh, anyways guys, let's get back to the actual um, single player thingy. Uh, I have a bunch of cool stuff to show you. Oh, you people, can't you see, can't you see? All right, so I don't know if I already showed you guys this. I did this. I put some sterling engines down here, six of them, and then I put uh, gates to, like, automatically turn them on when they need to run. So my engine room has been upgraded. It is cool, I tells you. I got my auto killer over here, but it looks like these blazes aren't getting close enough to die. That's all right. I got plenty of stuff going on, including some of these blitz rods, which I'm still not sure what to do with. So let's talk about what's new. Oh, 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 oh. The, uh, the forestry farm that I set up, I think it was actually technically last episode. You got to remember this was a long time ago for me in real life. The forestry farm that I set up is no longer there. Uh, because apparently forestry is a little bit problematic these days. So I'm not going to be using a forestry farm. I think this, I think I might have made this bigger than I had it before, but that's okay. So, I'm not going to use that. There was a forestry farm, like, right here before. It's not there now. Uh, instead, I am going to do... I'm going to do something farmy over here in this little area. I don't know exactly what yet, but I'm doing something farmish over here. Um, I went ahead and made myself some... Advanced, powerful solar panels. They're down there charging a capacitor bank. I surrounded it with obsidian, with this colored obsidian. Look at I have the... I had... I had a couple of these extra lights, so I just dropped them on the ground. Anyways, I surrounded them with a colored obsidian and some hardened lumen glass so that uh, creepers and stuff can't blow them up. And if I had a conduit... Oh a, oh, a wrench works. You can see I have conduits hidden in the wall to power these powered lights on the tops of the walls there. See? Conduits hidden in there. Powering the lights. And I may have moved this windmill. Oh, that's right. I put a second windmill. I actually, I, I, I built the windmills legit. I didn't like cheat them in or nothing like that. So these are 100% legit. I put two of them up here. Because I wanted two of them. And yeah, they're charging this capacitor, which then makes its way down here. Oh, oh no! <laughs> nice going, Kyrie. Oh, zombie! Oh, zombie! I'm sorry I keep yelling in your ear, you guys. There's a zombie out there. He wants to. He wants this villager. That's what he's after. He seriously don't even... The zombie don't even care about me right now. When I fell from the windmills, I thought I was going to land in the water. I did not mean to do that. Great. I don't have any blocks to get up there. Do I have anything in down here I can use, maybe? Oh, good. I got some stuff here. I'll just... I'll bring some temple blocks. It's weird not having my jetpack on. I haven't not had a jetpack on in a while. Thank goodness for graves, though. Otherwise, my stuff would all be in the water right now. Hey! Hey! There. There. Okay. Come here. Come here, you stuff. I didn't have a lot of st stuff with me anyhow. Where's my pick? All right, so that was fun. That was a fun little adventure dying right there. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. I don't want to fight that creeper right now. He wants to blow up my good stuff. What's up, creeps? Come over here where there isn't as much good stuff to blow up in case I don't kill you fast enough. Got him. I got him with two hits with my sword that's sharp. Okay, so I made this little farmy area. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I got ideas. I'll tell you later. And then I made a tunnel to, like, get to the farmy area. I think this is a cool tunnel. What do you guys think? Um, and the tunnel kind of goes this way. What's over there? And the tunnel keeps going back this way. I like these neon glowstone. It's a chisel thing called neon glowstone. I use that for the lights in this tunnel. I don't think I actually have any essence in here right now. No, I don't because I have that spawner running. And it drains the essence as soon as I get it. So, yeah, I... 
probably are these guys gonna die soon I hope so all right um anyway so I showed you the farming area uh, I showed you that the forestry farm is gone I showed you my cool tunnel that leads over this way um, I want to start on Thomcraft now I'm ready for Thomcraft uh, I'm eventually gonna put rails in this tunnel by the way any of you guys who know me who have seen my previous builds you already knew that I was gonna put rails in that tunnel I'm not I, I'm gonna wait to do that because I don't want to do railcraft just yet but that's eventually I'm um, by the way guys I'm really sorry I yelled in your ear when I died just now like I'm I'm trying to not do that to you as much but like God it's it's difficult when I'm like scared alone, zombie. he was gonna hit him with a piece of rotten flesh <gasps> oh I shouldn't have killed that zombie oh no I shouldn't have killed him what was I thinking I put the steam dynamo over here instead of the I I think I might have actually already done that before but yeah drop some levels in this bad boy oh crap this thing's almost full and it's full okay well I'll put all these away for now um anyways guys I actually do need to catch a zombie so if I see another one if I get uh, there they come out every single night to try to get that that villager that's in there that villager is like zombie bait I don't know what the mundane belt does but I found it in a box a while ago so I've kept it ever since then uh, anyways guys I want to start on Thomcraft um, I have a Thomcraft area set up I'm waiting until next side next episode to do the big reveal for you uh, because because that's what I'm doing I have an integration table for when I want to add autarkic gates because our target gates are the shit, but I don't need them quite yet for anything. I'm gonna turn off my spawners. Turn on the light because I actually want to get my. I want to take. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What the hell was he doing in here? Did you guys see that? Where did he come from? Let me fix this. By the way, you'll notice the glass did not break because it's reinforced glass, and reinforced glass just don't break. Doesn't happen. Uh, let's get uh, some... Where's that stone road? Let's get this first. We'll fix this section re real quick. I think that goes like that. And then I need some chiseled stuff for the bottom part. Where are you, chiseled stuff? There you are. All right, chiseled stuff. You're going to go right here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, I need another stone road, damn it. Ah, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Why do I have levers with me? What am I doing? Oh, those are okay like that. I want to use those just like they are. Rubber da da. All I need now is one more stone road. Okay. Hey, fixed. So, okay, here's the deal. I'm really curious why that railcraft tank doesn't have anything in it, but oh well. I have a lot of blitz rods. I really don't expect that I'm ever going to need any more than what I have. So I, I already have them. I'm not going to... I'm done I'm done collecting blitz rods. So I'm going to kill my blitz that I got here. Okay, so I killed him. Now I have an empty safari net that I can use to catch myself a zombie. If it's nighttime, we're going to actually do that now. I want to catch a zombie because I want some rotten flesh. I want lots of it, actually. It's not nighttime. There's usually a zombie hanging out at my door even when it's not nighttime, but I guess this is like the one time there isn't one there. You know why, right? Because I actually would like one to be there. Uh, this, get out of the way. We're turning this lever off. We're going to breed things for a while here. Watch, this is fun to watch. I think I've shown it to you guys before, but I'm going to show it to you again. I should put something out there to collect the eggs, like a vacuum hopper maybe. Uh, just to pick up all those eggs and then store them somewhere in case I ever need eggs for anything. So, anyways, as these, um, animals continue to get killed, we should be getting our hands on more and more mob essence. Which I'm really curious why none of it's staying in the real craft tank. You see it dumped in there, but then it immediately gets drained somewhere. I, I have it connected to my spawner system over there, but I thought that the spawner was full, so I don't know why it still is draining. I'm not sure where it's going. I'll debug that later. Um, yeah. I hear a zombie. Where are you, zombie? Where is he? Zombie! Zombie! 
are you? Zombington. Zombsworth. Zombarella. Okay, whatever. Fuck that zombie. Um, I'm gonna go do some bare bones basic starting. <sighs> that zombie's taunting me. Ooh. Gonna go do some bare bones basic. Let's get started with thumbcraft type stuff. Um, I'll do some of this on camera, most of this off camera. I need that. I need uh, I need some iron nugget. Invar nugget. Where's iron nugget? I right, let's take an iron ingot and turn that. In. I need a shard of some kind. I guess I'll use a water shard. Doesn't really matter. Let's open this up. Let's get ourselves an iron nugget. Actually, we're gonna need a couple sets of iron nuggets. Because I believe this is, if this is still how you do it anyways, because I actually haven't done Thomcraft in a while, so I'm not 100% sure if anything has changed, but I hope not, because I don't know what to do if it has. I don't know why I got the shard thingy, I don't actually need that for this. So there's my iron capped wooden wand, cool. Let's make ourselves a bookshelf, like so. Okay, we place the bookshelf, we give it a zap with the wand, it turns into a thaumanamakamana. Uh, put the books away, because we don't need them. Put away you and you. Carpenter garage door. Oh, that creeper that blew up like an a-hole broke my garage door. That son of a bitch. What garage door did he break? That one. Oh, what an a-hole. Uh-huh. Put this back. How's it go? Like this? Like that. I need a stone. I need some bricks to fix that. I'll fix it later. It's fine for right now. Okay. I went squid hunting and caught, uh, killed a few squid. But now I want to catch this zombie. Come here, zombie. Gotcha. All right. So look at how the safari net changes color when you have a, a thing inside of it. I think that's cool. By the way, those advanced... um. Whatever they're called, I think they're called photovoltaic. The advanced photovoltaics, not that hard to make. Uh, it just needs some, it, it requires a lot of ender pearls, but as you know, I'm not exactly hurting for ender pearls or emeralds, so yeah, not that hard for to, to get your hands on if you have an enderman deal like what I have going on here. Anywho, let's start the spawning of the zombers. Oh, I should have grabbed a damn stone brick thingy to, oh well, to replace the garage door, but it's okay. All right. Uh, let's put you in there. So now you got that. Let's go ahead and turn it on and watch it do its thing. Clickety-clack. Khalil Mack. Where's he? Where is this happening at? It's, uh, it's got to be up there by where, by where my villager is up there. So, we should start seeing zombies. There's our zombie. Hey, Zomber. Hey, Zombers. Hey, Zomberman. Okay, so good. Grinder's doing its thing. We're killing some zombies. We should start getting... So, oh, I got some more calamari from, my, from that, the squid I was killing. So, okay, we should see that... There we go. Now it's starting to work. Okay, we're going to get a lot of rotten flesh from that, and that's great. Okay, so I'm just going to let that kind of... Where? Oh, my gosh. Dude, enough. Shut up. All right, so I got my thumb Nomicon. I got some ink. I need some scribing tools. How do you make scribing tools? Pretty simple. I need a bottle. I need a bottle, I think. A bottle and then uh, ink and then a feather, I'm pretty sure, is all you need. I don't want the algae. I don't want the raw calamari. So I'm pretty sure if we put these three things together in a deal, we get scribing tools. There's our scribing tools. Okay, that's all thumb crafty stuff. I'm going to need some paper. I'm going to need a lot of paper, actually, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a ton of paper right now. I'm gonna need a thumbometer, a thumbometer, thumb, thumbometer. Where are you, thumbometer? Okay, how do I make you? Gold and then two shards. Easy enough. Um, let's get one more shard. I guess water is fine, and then some gold. 
a couple pieces of gold and then a piece of glass. And that's how we make our thalmometer. Can I do it? Can I just shift click it up there? Can I shift click? Yes, I can. Thalmometer. Whoa. Whoa! Oh boy, it's letting me scan stuff in my inventory. This is new. I didn't know I could do this. But apparently I can do this. It let, I didn't know you could do that. Can, you can scan stuff right out of your inventory. That's pretty cool. Well, how about that? What do you know? Okay, I can't scan most of this stuff. I wasn't expecting to. It's okay. Knew I could scan that. Can I scan this? No. Okay. So anyways, guys, between this episode and next, I am going to be scanning the world. That's one thing I kind of don't miss about doing a bunch of Thomcraft is that how much freaking scanning I have to do. But, you know, hey, it's what I got to do if I want to start on Thomcraft. So um, my plan is to go around and just scan, 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 scan. And after that, I'm going to scan some more. Um, so... I love, by the way, that I can scan things within my inventory. This is pretty goddamn cool. Poozer Fruit, if you're watching, I want to know what you think of this. I want to know if you already knew that you could do that, if you could scan within your inventory like that. It almost reminds me of a... Uh, um, never mind, it doesn't remind me of anything. All right, bye guys. I'll see you next time, and I'll show you my new Thomcraft room, and it'll be a good time.